Today on EL Now, Ebony Life TV mourns the tragic death of our beloved head of programming, Pamela Uwebu. Father of late South African goalkeeper Senzo Neiwa criticized for waving at crowds. Zimbabwean singers Toki Vibes and Lipsy move UK tour due to Ebola outbreak. Shock as Nollywood actor O.C. Ukeje to get married this Saturday. Who knew? Also on the show tonight, we bring Ekeng Basi to tears. Live fearless, it's EL Now. Hey everyone, it's Retro Wednesday and we're going to be testing your memories by taking you many years back to the good old days of the village headmaster. That's right. Now, if you have no clue what we're talking about, then turn on the TV because that means you're too young to be watching this. I like the way she said it, or too old to be watching TV at all. The light of the screen might be too bright for your eyes. <laughs> Angry? <laughs> is that even possible? Uh -uh. Guys, you remember I told you that there's something really, really special about today? I'll break the news just now. No one is too old to watch TV. Ekeng, not even you. At retirement, I want to spend the rest of my life watching EL now to keep young. By that time, you'll be watching Retro Cynthia Kamalu on EL now. No, no, I'm trying to picture you with grey hair though. Hmm. So tell me, what do you see? Uh, I'll do that after the news. <sighs> yeah. Hi guys, and welcome. We, first and foremost, we're heartbroken to bring you the news that Ebony Life TV Head of Programming, Mrs. Pamela Uchenna Ofwebu, has passed away following a protracted battle with breast cancer yesterday morning. Her demise has met with shock from the entertainment industry, where over 10 years of sheer grit and hard work in the TV industry has been impossible to miss. As commissioning editor for Mnet, she also worked with shows such as Tinsel before moving to Ebony Life TV, where she headed the reality TV department before becoming the head of programming. I love my job. I love waking up in the morning. Um, there is no job that doesn't have its challenges. But I feel fulfilled at the end of the day because I'm part of a creative process. Speaking on her death in a statement, Ebony Life TV boss Mo Abudu said, The loss of Pam, someone so dear to us, a mother, a sister, a confidant, a colleague, and a friend, is a gulf that would be difficult to fill. As someone who has been there from the conception of the Ebony Life TV family, she was at the very nucleus of building of Ebony Life TV. Above all, she was a dear sister and a friend. More than a colleague, but a loving mother to all, she was a testament to hard work, the driving force of excellence, and the silent yet integral wheel to our success. I'll keep calm, and I'll trust the Lord to see me through. We will sorely miss her beautiful smile, her warm hugs, and her sound advice. We miss you, we love you, our darling Auntie Pam. Rest in the Lord. Pamela Ofwebu died age 44 in the presence of her family. In South Africa, father of late South African goalkeeper and captain of the national team Senzo Maiwa has been strongly criticized for waving at the crowds excitedly during his son's funeral on Saturday. Sam Maiwa waved to the crowd in excitement from an ambulance conveying his son's corpse, an action which has been deemed disrespectful and offensive as he was supposed to be grieving. What's more, the SA cyber world has been infected with the action as memes of waving have sprouted from all corners of the country. Over now to Zimbabwe, where we gather Zimbo artist Talky Vibes, Lipsy and Kina have pushed forward their UK tour to mid-November because of a further need for clarification on travel conditions due to the Ebola outbreak. The group who had initially set October 31 and November 1 as their tour dates have moved to the weekend of 15th of November saying, we look forward to seeing you on the 14th and 15th of November for what promises to be an Ebola-free blockbuster show. I guess it's a case of what goes around comes around to the UK. And finally, put your hands up if you knew O.C. Ukeje was in a committed relationship. Well, neither did we. Even more shocking is that the Nollywood crush is getting married this weekend, the 8th of November to be precise. We gather he is tying the knot with a longtime love, Ibikun Togonu, who is based in Canada. OC's intimate wedding will consist both white and traditional on the same day. Girls, dry your eyes. And you're up to date. Be more and no more with us online at ebonylifetv.com slash el now. Ekeng has no clue how hot I'll still be when I'm a granny. But speaking of aging, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Grandpapa Ekeng, whose birthday it is today. Happy birthday! 
Happy birthday, darling! Now, Adi and I got you a gift. Just hold on. Sorry. Hold on. Thank you. Happy birthday, Ekeng. <laughs> Take your gift. Open it. Are you guys kidding me? Open it! What are you guys doing? Mm hmm Let's see, let's see, let's see. No, seriously, what's okay, going on? Okay, tell them what's coming up after the break first. All right, now we get to see Alabi's unique jollof rice tutorials to celebrate with. This is EL Now. Happy birthday! What day is this? Thank you.